And now the time has finally come. It's time to invade Black Hole's territory after they decided to invade everybody else's territory. And we're in hot pursuit of Sturm. Sturm takes command to blitz the Black Hole Citadel. Monster! The, the enemy army! <sighs> yes, they've arrived. Come on. I'm gonna pummel them to a pulp, Lord Sturm. You gotta let me at them. <laughs> Please, Flack will make a mess of it as per usual. Sir, why not let me take command? <laughs> the command is mine. Uh, what? Huh? Really? <sighs> Their true strength is only unknown, an unvariable. Therefore, I shall ascertain their growth with my own eyes. As you wretches, you will be reporting to the missile platform immediately to assist Lash. <laughs> Understood. Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good riddance. Those pathetic fools have been of little use to me. Once plans have come to fruition, there shall be adjustments. All right. Going into the final campaign, we have our pick of the lot for CEOs. Unfortunately, we can only pick one CEO from each of the nations, and we're only limited to, to three CEOs uh, to jump into this mission. So, in the time between last time we played this and uh, last time and now, I've been doing a lot of thinking about who I want at, to go into this mission. And I think I finally decided on the team. It's a pretty unorthodox team. I actually do want to see if I can actually complete this with a more unorthodox team going into these last couple of missions. So, for starters, I'm going to pick Kambe. It is decided. And because he said he wanted to fight alongside Kambe once again, for our second CO, we're going to pick Drake. Not bad. And our final CO, because he never gets any love, because he's not really that useful in my opinion, but I'm going to do it anyways, we're picking Olaf. <laughs> See, he's happy to be in this. Kambe, I would say, is a very good, like, start to this. Another good, like, number of CEOs is just, like, you can get Eagle, you can get Max, you can get, uh, uh, Jess. Sammy's not really that good, in my opinion, for this mission. Andy's alright. Guess we finally made it. The Black Hole Army Citadel. Huh? Citadel? Well, I don't care what it's called. All I know is that the resources they siphoned off of Orange Star ended up here. Gotcha. Our intelligence has confirmed that as well. They use an intricate pipe system that leads all the way to here. <laughs> After we capture this place, we can take back all the money and stuff they stole. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure, Andy. Uh, what? Why not? Just because it was all sent here doesn't mean it's still here. So you suspect they might have moved it to another location? Where do you think they moved it? Oh, we gotta assume they weren't gathering it just for kicks. They've had something big planned for a while here, and more than likely, they've already put their stuff to use where they needed it. That sound about right, now. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's exactly as Grit says. This mission is really about deciphering the exact details of their scheme. Oh. Hmm. We must launch the attack regardless. The longer we wait, the stronger their defenses become, and our target is... Uh -huh. The Black Cannons. Our objective is to destroy all three of them. Sonya? Just the cannons? Are you sure but that's it, Sonya? If we eliminate those cannons, we will quickly find out if there's anything else for them to protect. If it isn't, they'll likely flee. <laughs> ah, and if they skedaddle, that would more than likely tell us we're not the true headquarters. Yeah. That all makes sense now. Commander! That's truly brilliant, Commander Sonya. Hmm. I have to agree with the kid. This seems like a solid strategy. Any other uh, uh, observations while we're at it? Well, with proper consideration of a few points, we'll increase our odds of victory significantly. As we can see, indirect fire will be vital for this battle. The other vital element will be send in the CEOs best suited for the mission at hand and use in decoys it efficiently against the black cannons. That's all I have for now. Hmm. You truly are becoming more like your mother each day. I'm so proud. Whoa! All right, everybody, let's advance. Wars. Do all right. So we got a lot of black hole units. Uh, they're all pretty much confined behind here for the start of this mission until we take out the seams in the pipelines right here. The ones over here, though, 
I believe they're permanently trapped over here because I don't think they can go past the laser cannon. That being said, they still got rockets over there, so they're still pretty dangerous. Uh, we got a good number of rockets, we got neo tanks, uh, medium tanks, and missiles. It's a pretty good setup, plus we got the three huge black cannons over here that cover everything up to here. Plus the mini cannons that are covering all the properties right here that we need to actually up Conbase like funds to really uh, afford some very strong units to punch right through these defenses. That being said, to start off, we need to start taking care of those cannons. So I'm going to just get one tank for the time being, and we're going to end the turn. Now, the reason I picked Drake and I picked Olaf for this mission is because, well, there is some naval aspects to it. Drake will be good for getting a couple battleships out here to start uh, hammering away at the defenses off to the side over here, plus dealing with the sub, the battleship, and the cruiser that's back here. There's also a sub battleship and cruiser uh, trios, and on the other one as well, where uh, Olaf's forces are. But for the time being, uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get an APC and some infantry. You might think that's a little bit weird, but I actually do have a method to my madness here. For Olaf, though, Olaf's probably going to be our least, like, useful CO out of all of them. The reason I got him is because of Winter's Fury being able to do two damage to all of uh, Storm's forces up here. That combined with Drake's, like, Tidal Wave or... No, Typhoon, sorry. I got a little confused with like, no, it's not Tidal Wave. Uh, that's basically uh, four hits to all of these very powerful units back here, and that can really do a lot of damage. But for the time being, we don't really have a lot of properties to really get. I'm probably not going to buy any properties with Olaf's forces for the time being. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a tank with him. I might get Battlecopters next time, but for the time being, I just want to get a tank, and we're going to try and hit those cannons over there from the side. Also, the laser cannons. You're gonna make sure to be careful about those laser cannons. Now oh, it's so good to hear Storm's theme again. It's still one of my all-time favorite CO themes in the series. Get you stationed right there. I'm gonna get our second tank, and then I'm gonna get three tanks stationed right here, and we're all just gonna hit this cannon right here, and hopefully be able to knock it out to clear up some of the properties over here. I'm gonna have to hit the cannon over there as well. Basically, coordinate your attacks to really be efficient in this fight. I think I have, yeah, I don't have enough yet. Now, we're going to start sending you guys over to where Olaf is so we can have Drake capture the port that's over here. So that way we can get Drake's naval support on both sides. And that can really help out in taking care of these rockets and also possibly be able to hit the Black Cannons. I think that might be the case. I'll get some infantry as well out here so that way we can start pushing up here as well. I probably should get uh, artillery next so that way we can start countering the battleship. Because that battleship's not going to make it capturing that property, that base, and that seaport easy for us. Let's just get a lost forces moving over here. What do we have? We got battlecopters. And the battlecopter would be useful against the battleship. The only problem is that cruiser is also going to be an annoyance to deal with. So I think what I'm going to do for the time being is I'm going to just get some artillery. And I'll get infantry as well so we can have them move up here and start capturing the city, the port, and the base. Or this, this, just the city and bases. Storm's forces still can't do anything at the moment. I think his battleships are always going to hang back, so they... Nope, nope, they're moving a little bit closer. Nope, too far. Right there. 
Now I'm just going to go with the regular tank for the time being. Then maybe I'll get a Neo or a Medium next turn. Or maybe I might have enough money to get a Battlecopter. So working way over there. We're gonna work our way up over here. I almost have enough for a battleship. Unfortunately, with the fact that there's that sub and that cruiser coming real close, it's not really gonna be that efficient. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rockets for Drake so that way we can have the seaport covered. Just use some battle copters as a distraction. Do I have enough for rock? Yeah, I do. Okay. See if, uh, if I just had 5,000, I could have bought a uh, a transport for a, an easy distraction. Okay, so the road up there is completely covered. Pushed him too far. Oops. I think the rockets will be able to hit that sub. Actually, I think we'll be able to hit both of them. Maybe the battleship as well. Unfortunately, you're trapped right there. Let's get a medium tank built, and then we'll start the attack uh, tomorrow. We don't have enough for a battle copter, unfortunately. Gonna be able to hit those guys, right? Okay, no, just barely out of range. Cool. Let's get another pair of rockets out here so that way we can have the entire bear area covered. Let's keep getting you guys moving over here. Unfortunately, you still don't have the money for our any naval units for the time being. So we'll hot off for now. A slow build up of our forces, so thank goodness that there's no like day limit for uh, this battle. All right, we lost some battle cops, unfortunately, but hopefully, yeah, we lost them all. But now, at least that cruiser's now within firing range, and we can take it out and render the sky safe over there. Cannons, we gotta start freeing up these cities. And I'll get a couple of infantry out so we can start capturing those cities as well. In fact, I might actually capture the base over here with these infantry now that I think about it. Probably need a better option.
should be safe. Yeah, you're safe. Alright, unfortunately the infantry is going to get hit, but at least they'll they capture that base over there. As for over here... Wait, how'd you take five... Oh, laser cannon, that's how. Okay, so that base right there is covered. Right there, I believe it's covered by the mini cannon, yeah, and then the black cannon covers all of that. So the safest place to put you for the time being would be right here. seal powers up because he doesn't require that much investment. Oh, right, that's the cruiser, not the battleship. Whoops. Every asset of your army. Hey, keep telling yourself that's term. Of course, we are going to be taking a lot of losses here now because uh, those black cannons are now going to target all my units. I'm surprised you didn't go for the, the blue moon tank, but hey, it means that it won't uh, have any damage reduction. But at least that now opens up that base for me to capture for Olaf. Okay, just because I really want to start dealing with these uh, naval units over here, we're going to move our battle copter over there. How much health do you have? 29. You got 43. Just decides to hide that thing in the, at the port just because he thinks that it's gonna save it. You fool, you do not own that space. Might actually have enough to buy ourselves a battleship. No, but next turn we will, so we'll just save up for then. Right, I forgot to Oh, yeah, that's right. Can't really do much until that battleship's dealt with. Hmm. I think I'll just start saving up. Mm, actually, no. Let's get another artillery and we'll send that to the front lines. Those thrums, CO power is getting pretty high.
All right, Kira, do my thing until I deal with that battleship. That's the annoying thing about starting this, is just like those naval units, because naval units are just so damn expensive to buy, it's gonna take a long time before we can actually get uh, any use out of them. So his battleship's gonna be keep hounding you this entire battle. Went down. Mm, now I'll save up my money. Now we can finally get that battleship. Now, if Storm was stupid, he'd move that battleship into firing range and basically get uh, annihilated by our forces. But Storm's a, a, a he's a shrewd one. Unfortunately, he's also in a spot where I can't really do anything about him. So, just to keep our troops alive, we're just gonna move him over here. I'm just gonna keep our APC right there until we can finally get him up to that naval port. And we're gonna make sure that thing can't run away from us. Gonna take some doing, but we'll soon be able to get the thing captured. I forgot to attack with the tank. Although it's not really going to matter because he's going to drop that meteor on top of us as soon as all those cannons are done firing. Prepare to embrace darkness. Oh boy. If I was a betting man, I'm gonna guess he's gonna drop the thing right on top of Drake's battleship. Yep, I knew it. Both the battleship and the rockets. Uh, it's a good thing that it was on the seaport. Surprised it's doing the the factory like CO3, uh, super theme. I kind of figured that since it's not really a factory mission, it would be more of you know storm CO power theme. Ooh, you just put yourself right in the perfect firing range. Master strategist, my great aunt Fanny, you are. They're still gonna only take one damage. Wait, what? What? I'm sorry, what, what happened to this one unit? I swear nothing hit him. No lasers hit him? Did the battleship? Oh, he's in range of the battleship, okay. Didn't think that thing had that much range in it. Okay, we're pretty much more more than safe enough to move you guys over here. Th that battleship and uh, that sub will be taken care of post haste.
Hopefully I can at least scare him into moving his units. Damn it. Well, if it keeps him there, then at least that will allow the artillery to hit it. Or I could give him a very enticing target and at least try to keep the rockets alive. capture one city for Drake so that way we can get a little extra funds to get a couple more battleships under our belt. care of. And we're close to getting... Oh, we're very ready to go, so hopefully whatever Storm does to us will be more than enough to put us over the edge. Aha! It worked! You fool, you've fallen for my ruse. Double-fallen double fallen for the bruise. But I gotta say, that's one's 38 PC. Come on, just try to move. I dare you. Naval port in this size completely cleared the fleets. So it comes to right there, so I believe that force is no, it is not. About right there would be the safe spot for those units.
I think I'm just gonna save up for a bomber. Oops, I didn't realize that that city was right there. And thank goodness you went for this and not the Neo Tank. I just realized where I placed it, and I kind of got a little scared that I just placed it in the worst possible location. Site's clear. Let's see if we can just try to draw some fire off some of my other units. Nice, not the down to three. Okay, I think I can safely move you right here in firing range. I probably should have just kept it there for that little extra protection, but a, a three's not gonna do anything. Let's be real here. right now. Missiles cover all the way up to here, so let's get our gunships. We'll put them right here for the time being. Yeah, I knew that Neo Tank was gonna get hit twice, though. Ugh. Okay, this thing can finally go away. I am sick and tired of this battleship hounding my units over here. It's just relentless. And since the battleship's pretty much been taken care of, we can... Oh, great. Not yet. Start finally taking these cities. You go away. I'm so done with this battleship. No, not yet. Down 
20. Yes, I do dare to defy you, Sturm. What are you gonna do about it? You still are only halfway to your seal power. And those things still can't do anything. Like, I don't know why that there's just seems that there's just like, get like, uh, get like artillery and rocket units, his forces up there can't do anything. But at least the, the first line has finally been broken. city. And I guess while we're at it, we'll help out on the front lines. Rocket can't hit there. Cool. Let's get ourselves a second battleship. So right about there's a safe spot to attack. And I can hit those rockets easy. I forgot to pull you off there and move up to the city. I see what you're doing. It's not going to do you any good, but I see what you're doing. So that really pushed up too far. Yeah, I did. Whoops. Close to a typhoon. 
think if I'm able to take out everything over here with Drake's forces and maybe the stuff over here as well, that should be more than enough to push us over the edge for one. But I am going to need the funds to get uh, the fleet over there built. Those are opening. Winter Fury. Took some time to finally get this thing, but hey, finally got it in the end. And unfortunately, that's where we're gonna end it. So we don't get to listen to the really cool CO theme, but we'll probably listen to it when we finally get Drake's. He finally did it, folks. He finally got that city. Oop, did we get it? Yeah, we did. Anchors away! Alrighty, a storm's a brewing. gonna drop this one I hope he does not drop it right in the middle of the rockets but it might look like that might be the case oh boy I'm kind of hoping he drops it on that medium tank that's just sitting at the base nope going for the battleships okay I mean, that's probably the second best location he could have dropped it because I don't really need to worry about the battleships over here anymore
All right, you know what? Just so we can start doing more damage. Repair yourself. Cannon one's finally destroyed. All right, that's two down. All right, and with that, that's the battle. Oh, the black cannons have been. You leak the intel to the mi on the missile platform to the enemy as I ordered. Hey, yes, sir. We let one soldier be captured on purpose. They've been trained on exactly what to say upon interrogation. Very good. Then with the pieces in place, it's time to end this game. Order all units to the platform immediately. Y yes, sir. Right away. The enemy will follow the trail all the way to the missile platform. The best of Black Hole's troops will greet them there with a storm of death. <laughs> then, before their very eyes, I shall launch our missiles. Huh. Amy's constructing a missile platform? Huh. It would appear so. They intend to launch missiles of devastating power at both Cosmoland and Macro alike. How reliable is this intel? A Captain Black Hole soldier just relayed the info in questioning. In fact, it lines up with our own investigation as well. So what's the hold up? We can attack the missile platform, right? It's not that simple, Andy. It's not, but why? Because when information comes that easy, it may as well be a trap. You confirmed the intel, correct? Hmm. Would a soldier who fought so long break so easily? I wonder. The safe play here would be to assume that it's a snare. Well, everything we can't float around in port forever. We need to get to moving with troop morale is riding high. Hmm. I can't stand it. How long are we going to stand around and talk about this? If the enemy's at the missile platform, then let's go there and blast it to bits. Hmm. Andy, your mouth is getting ahead of your brain again. I think we should listen to the boy. Hmm. Yes. I concur. We must attack sometime. If we know where they're waiting for they're waiting for us at the platform, it saves us the annoyance of hunting them down. You got a point there. As they say, if you're looking for crawdads, you ought to turn over some rocks. That's a pretty sound principle. Ah. I hear no objections. Then let us begin our advance on the missile platform. Oh yeah! Let's get them! We do not know what it means to are you sure about that? Because we did lose a lot of troops in that fight. <laughs> 